So as we log into Mathletics here, we see that there's a section called Workbooks on the bottom row. And if we click that icon, it opens up all of the interactive workbooks. If we choose one of these from Series H, I, J or K for the time being, we'll see that the workbooks are all divided into topics. And on the right hand side here, then some of them have interactives associated with the pages. And if we click the Interact button, we will see an interactive representation of that page which brings the concept to life by being able to drag the sliders and to, to see the representation of the mathematics change in a more intuitive and visually um, instinctive way. And some of them are more graphical than that. So we've got an example here that's a simultaneous quadratic and linear equation where we're trying to find the points of intersection between the parabola and the straight line. And we can change the equations by dragging the graphs around and we see the equations change on the left there. We also can step through the working to find the points of intersection and we can see that as we drag the graphs now that the working will update to correspond. We can position these things to show the case where there is no solution or that there are two points or there's only one point on the tangent there. And we could reset that to discuss any one of these. There's a whole range of examples in here. This one is financial mathematics relating to a reducing balance example. And again, we can make that become interactive. So we see the same problem is introduced step by step by dragging the slider. So that's the same as the question that's in the book, but we also can make that become um, interactive in the sense that it can become any question inside the range of those sliders there and we can step through the change of the properties. But we also can see a more visual representation of what's going on. As we increase the time period or we change the rate, we change the principle, which really brings that concept to life in a, a nice intuitive way and is a good use of the interactivity in the context of that financial mathematics question. This one is to do with constructing a regular polygon. So we've got the hexagon and the square on the page and we can construct either of those with the use of the interactive. We also can construct any other regular polygon that we choose by dragging that slider there and all of the mathematics will change to indicate the process to follow. It's also possible to have a bit of a look behind the scenes for some extension activities or some related activities. So in this case we've got a tutorial video which is linked to a blank canvas directly beneath it where we can follow along the process which could be useful for extension or for other activities in class on the interactive whiteboard. It's also possible to download these directly out of the program to pull them apart and to play with them. A couple of the upcoming things that we can have a quick look at here is this geometrical construction interactive which guides students through the use of traditional tools such as a compass and a set square to construct a continuous curve between two parallel lines. And there are some investigations that are built around this one as well, which can be accessed by clicking that investigate button at the bottom. One that's coming soon is this interactive proof where we can bring that to life in a intuitive and visual way. So at this point, we've just shown sort of four or five of these. There's more than a hundred have been built and are already embedded in these topics that you can see here.